Hi guys, my name is Emma and in this YouTube video I'm going to be sharing with you all the seeds that you can sow for your allotment garden in the month of July. So July is here and you might be thinking, oh, there's not very much that I can actually sow from a seed in this month. Well, actually there is a ridiculous amount that you can. Every single year, I think at this time of year that it's over and I see spring as the time of sowing everything. And then when we get into July, I'm thinking, okay, it's autumn now. We're getting into autumn um, and I can't sow anything. But you will be surprised by the amount of seeds that you can still start at this time of year. Obviously, some things are gone and you can't start them now so anything that you sowed in the springtime that was a crop that was going to take a long time to harvest so pumpkins parsnips tomatoes peppers things like that you can't sow at this time now because it's just just not enough time for the plants to develop and grow it's a great time of year to be thinking about filling up the gaps as well if you're harvesting lots of things like you've harvested potatoes or you've harvested i don't know a load of spinach and then there's a load of room there at your allotment plot you're going to be wanting to put things in and it's not too late to do that you don't have to leave big gaps at your allotment plot you can still whack in some seeds in the ground a couple of really great things just to fill space is carrots which can be sown at this time of year i sowed autumn king carrots the other day at my allotment plot and they're supposed to be fantastic so carrots are a great thing to whack in. You could also try whacking in some turnips as well. I haven't had much luck with turnips. I did grow a couple last year, but they again are a fantastic um, space filler upper. Just whack it in and see if it grows and then you'll have stuff coming up. If however you are like, okay, I've come to the end of my allotment year and I can't be doing this anymore, then it's a great time of year just to mulch over a bed and maybe cover it with something to stop all the weeds from coming up. So if you really do think a bed is finished now, cover it over is my advice because otherwise you just it just become a weedy bed here are some other things that i think you can sow at this time of year so not all herbs can be started at this time of year but two in particular of my favorite herbs that can be started are basil and parsley and these will grow really well at this time of year you just whack the seeds onto a nice pot or in a little herb planter and they'll grow away i think you can also start coriander as well i'm not a massive fan of coriander um, but basil and parsley are definitely go in the month of july so if you haven't started any herbs yet and you want to start them from seed start these ones now i think so anything that grows quickly is really good to whack in in the month of July, especially if you're doing it directly into the ground. And of course, lettuce is one of the quickest growing crops out there. So I've got red salad bowl, which is a delicious deep red purple kind of lettuce. And I'm also going to say this one, um, which is called lob lob joint screen and um, which is a really delicious green it's a pick and come again one so you can pick the leaves and then it will grow back again or you can pick all the leaves in one go and the lettuce will grow back again and these take between between 10 and 12 weeks from when you sow the seed to when you can actually harvest it and eat it so these are really great anything quick growing adding to that list as well radishes are really great at this time of year because again they're really really quick they only take between eight and ten weeks to get an actual radish that you can harvest from when you put the seeds in the ground so they're perfect so you might have missed the boat for some of the autumn winter um brassicas if you haven't planted sprouts yet or broccoli then you're probably too late however you can sow an all round all year round cauliflower at any time you can whack that into the ground that will do absolutely fine at this time of year you can also start cabbages so i'm using i'm going to sow the wheeler's imperial cabbage um, which is a nice delicious autumn cabbage i'm going to whack that in the ground you can sow that directly in the ground if you can protect it from slugs and snails or you can start it in a seed tray prick them out and um, pot them on and then sow those out but these will be great for autumn winter you can also start some kohlrabi as well if you've never grown this before it is so much fun to grow and i definitely recommend it um i've never been able to buy this in a supermarket so these are absolutely fantastic and this can be whacked out in July. July is probably the last month that you can whack it in. So if you haven't whacked any kohlrabi and you want some, do it now. 
but we haven't totally missed the boat on uh, summer loving crops so if you haven't sown any French beans or any runner beans yet it's a great time of year to whack those in they require lots of heat lots of sun um, really good warmed up soil so if you put it in in July I would suggest early July you may still get a crop of those some people don't even start them till July where I am down south in the UK I usually start them sort of May June because we get quite a lot of heat and quite a lot of sun at that time of year but if you're more up north or if you're somewhere where I don't know summer starts a little bit later then whack them in now in July and you'll probably still get a crop of French beans and runner beans because they're quite fast growing in terms of flowers I always put in my nasturtiums at this time of year so I like to succession sow nasturtiums I usually have some come up on their own um, which is lovely but in pots and things I always sow some at this time of year nasturtiums are a great flower we have to talk about potatoes so recently I put out my main crop potatoes I'm a bit late in putting out main crop potatoes because main crop potatoes have quite a long growing season and obviously if we're going into autumn winter we're going to get frost we're going to get lots of wet weather uh, which is going to create boggy conditions for them they're not going to like that basically I've whacked in my Maris Piper and I plan on protecting them in the ground if we have any frost or anything by putting a big cloche over the top of them you can start Christmas potatoes in a bag um, at home or in a big pot I like to use the grow bags because they're just so much easier and you can fold them up when you're finished with them and store them in a shed or something which is what we're going to do today right Here's the grow bag. It's a great little size for putting um, potatoes in and harvesting them. And like I said, this would be great for a small space. The great thing about it is that I'll be able to protect my potatoes, move them about whenever I need to. And with a lot of the grow bags, they come with this at the front, a little pocket. So you can actually check and see if your potatoes are ready or even harvest them through there if you want to. I like to just tip the whole bag out, but I guess it's just a preference. So, like I said before, I'm sowing Maris Piper potatoes, which are a main crop potato. Absolutely delicious, lovely to roast, lovely to mash as well. Um, I've been chitting them. What does chitting mean, I hear you ask? Well, to chit your potatoes is when you put them on a nice sunny windowsill, but not in direct sunlight, and you wait for them to throw up little shoots. So I don't know if you can see on some of these, but they've got a little bit of green shoot coming off them. And that means that they're starting to grow. So the green shoots that are coming off, that's the foliage, that's not the roots, it's the foliage. So the potato will go that way so that the foliage comes up and grows above the soil. So we're gonna fill our bag halfway with multi-purpose compost. So my potato growing bag is now filled up halfway with multi-purpose compost. Now there's a reason I'm only filling it halfway. Main crop potatoes need to be earthed up, which means that when you start to see the foliage growing, you need to top them back up with earth again and literally cover the leaves with soil or multi-purpose compost or straw, whatever you're, whatever you're using, and allow the plant to grow up again through the soil or through whatever you put on top of them. It's called earthing them up. And the reason why we do that is firstly to encourage more potatoes to grow um, and for the plant to get even bigger. And secondly, to protect the potatoes from the sunlight. Now sunlight turns potatoes green and green potatoes are poisonous, you cannot eat them. So we earth them up, we encourage more potatoes and we protect them from the sun. So this is now halfway filled up i'm going to put my potatoes in and as soon as they grow i can then top it up with more earth right up to the top and hopefully we'll get a really good batch of potatoes out of this so i'm going to put in three potatoes so we're going to put the chitted side up so i'm going to put one there like that one there like that and this little one over here they look very small but i think we'll get a really good crop out of them you can see that the chitted side is pointing up ready to grow into the light and we're going to top that back up with compost again just enough so that they are covered and then we'll give them a good water So 
I've already mentioned that I've sown some carrots in my allotment plot, but I'm not convinced they're gonna grow. I just have a bad feeling about them. Carrots never work at my allotment. I'm actually gonna plant some in a pot. Um, so I have this pot here, which is quite tall, it's quite deep, which would be really good for carrots. I'm going to fill it up with multi-purpose compost, but I'm gonna sieve my compost to give it the best possible chance. Now, when you think about a carrot growing, it's when it hits a rock or the soil isn't very, or if a soil isn't very fine, that's when you get all those funny shaped carrots or sometimes they can split and grow like, like little legs or something and look really weird, um, which is fine, they still taste great, but if you want those nice, long, perfect carrots, you really do need to have a finer soil. You can add sharp sand to your soil, but I don't have any. I'm just gonna sieve my multi-purpose compost and make sure there's no horrible lumps in there. And it's probably gonna take me ages, but I think it might be worth it. Lengths I'll go to to get a good carrot. Right. Okay, that took me absolutely ages. I actually just go and take a cup, of, a cup of tea break for that. But yeah, it's all been filtered. It feels like touching a cloud. So I really hope the carrots will be happy in here. I'm just gonna compact that down a little bit. That's just because the carrot seeds are so tiny. I wanna make sure they actually have good contact with the soil. So I take off my glove. I've got our king autumn carrots here. Autumn king carrots, I should say. There we go. We're just gonna spread them really thinly over the top. Right, so that's actually pretty thinly, you know, that's pretty good. What we'll do is we'll sieve over our soil. This is the most care that I've ever taken in sowing carrots. So if these don't work, I'm gonna be so, <laughs> I'm gonna be like double disappointed. The um, thing with carrot seeds is because they're so small you have to keep them really well watered. So one of the biggest reasons why your carrots might not germinate or they might die is because they haven't got enough water. You can't underestimate how quickly a teeny tiny carrot seed can dry out. So you must make sure that you just keep watering. That is the one thing that kills your carrots quickest. Lack of water. I hope this vlog has been helpful to you and it's given you some ideas of things to put in the ground in July. It's not too late to get stuff out there and start sowing stuff. I'm always whacking stuff in the ground, even if it says I shouldn't be doing it, I am doing it. But I hope this has given you a few ideas and a little bit of inspiration. If it has, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, let me know anything that I've missed that you're putting in in the month of July and I'll see you in my next vlog. See you next time guys, thanks for watching, bye.